Welcome to the roast of Indiana Masara. If she hasn't cried today, she's going to. So this year for my birthday, I wanted the boys to not get me a present, but to roast me. And I only gave him an hour's notice. So here's to a roast. Here's to making her cry. Uh, first up, we're going to have Jared because he's a little nervous. and I'm, I'm scared because I know I can't follow whatever you have. It's so. not, mine is not going to be good. He just wanted to go first because he's, he's going to get his funnies out. And this should be fun. And it's all in good fun, Indiana. Okay. Okay, it's all no, in good we, fun. I feel like I need to say that to the people because I feel like they get super offended when you guys make jokes about me. Well, you're the one that said you wanted us to go in, Exactly. Right? You guys need to... I, if I'm laughing, it's all for funnies. Let's all just... This is what I wanted for my birthday. And it's not your birthday, it's mine. Let's do the quickest roast ever. All right, Jared, you're up first. Dude, my heart's racing. Fuck. Whew. I am nervous. It's just so cool to sit on this side. Are you ready? Okay, let's see how you start. <laughs> let's sweat shorts. <laughs> You, you didn't give us that much time. Anyway, all right, I'm nervous. <laughs> well, I, well, I can tell from the nervous jig in you. It's okay, that's who you are. That's who I am, you're Be right, that's it, who I know? am. Let the nervousness shine. Okay, I almost deleted the whole thing. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna read off my phone because I don't want to mess this up. You ready? I'm ready. You know, Indy, when I first met you almost three years ago at this point, you were a broken, emotional wreck of a human being. Let her know. Correct. I've got to say, I'm impressed because in those three years, absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah, get her, Jerry. Hey. Truly, it's it's amazing. <laughs> Whatever is going on in that big old adult XL motocross helmet size head of yours Bro! is truly a psychological wonder of the world. You do have a big head. I do have a big head. <laughs> but that's one thing I admire about you is that you know who you are and you you hold strong to your values, just like. When you join in, uh, Zach, making fun of me for liking Marvel and everything superhero, and then you come to me secretly at night wanting to watch all of the Spider-Man movies with me. So you, you stick to your guns. You yes, also stick to your guns when you promise us time after time that uh, you're going to kick your caffeine and sugar addiction while you're double fisting a Coke can and Red Bull. Although... One thing you have really stuck to is holding on to that ridiculous made up accent, or should I say accents of yours? Oh my gosh. Fake I, accent. I swear, talking to you is like talking to three different people. Yes. I don't know whether I'm going to get the Queen of England, a Valley Girl from See Me, or Crocodile Dundee. Yes. <laughs> and that's not even counting your multiple personalities. Oh, go in. She's actually medicated for it. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of multiple personalities, we can't forget how far you've come from psycho red hair indie. Hey, that was not psycho. I mean, she gave Harley Quinn a run for her money for the queen of crazy. Let her know. <laughs> you've come a long way from that. I'll give you props. Um, but psycho red hair indie, she did keep life exciting. You know, if you yes, count uh, getting punched in the face by your toxic ex ex-boyfriend as exciting. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many of you would count that as exciting, but I wouldn't. I'm sorry you got punched, Jared. Sorry, Thank you, Jared. But after all this, there's an old saying that says, friends are the family that we choose. And every day, you make me ask myself, why the fuck did I choose your family? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good. And then I remember that every family is a little dysfunctional. It's just a given, right? It's just a given. Right. right. But not every family has had each other's backs through the roller coaster of ups and downs, has made the memories that we have, or has the love that the three of us in this room share. Two of you guys, so, except for me. <laughs> happy birthday, Indy. And now I'm going to pass the mic to somebody that's going to be a lot funnier than me. No, you, you guys are good. Go, Jerry! Good job! Yeah, we're going to catch this hug on the wide, aren't we, Jared? Jared didn't want to move the camera for a wide <laughs> shot. Oh, that was really funny. Zach, the mic, I, the mic is sweaty. I'm so sorry. I do have a very big head. In case anyone didn't know, I was sparring the other day and I was wearing headgear for the first time. He had to make the XL boxer sized uh, headgear extend it. He had to extend it. That was really funny, Jared. Thank you. You did um, so good. I can feel how red my face is right you now. You did so good. Thank you. Was that good for an hour, like, notice? Yeah. I almost looked like I was watching you, like, talk at my wedding. It was cute. Oh. Oh, he's got some paragraphs written on his phone. 
Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. Welcome to hell, sweetheart. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you hear they're making Indiana an honorary TikTok F-boy? Um, <laughs> by default, because she got so much of their DNA in her. She's practically one. Oh, Oh, and it's kind fuck. of funny that she got famous from a show called Chicken Girls because of how much she likes cock. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. The math is just there. Nurses, oh, teachers, shit. firemen, first responders, all people Indiana makes more money than for lip syncing and hitting the woe on an app. If that's not a sign for Jesus to hurry up and come back, <laughs> I'm not sure what is. No worries. <laughs> Holy shit. So what does Indiana's podcasting and her driving have in common? She's terrible at both of them because she <laughs> loves cutting people off. <laughs> Did you know that Indiana gets pinched every St. Patrick's Day? And that's only because she refuses to wear green because people would confuse her for Luigi because of that tiny mustache she always got on her, on her top lip. I shaved lip. today! I yeah. was wondering where you're going she with She got to shave every hour, honestly, guys. And it breaks razors. So if you guys can find a, an Italian-proof razor, please let me know. No holding back. Oh, my God. So if going back to your toxic ex was an Olympic sport, you would have more gold medals than Michael Phelps. Yeah! Wow. But she would be doing the chest stroke because she would not have a breast stroke. <laughs> we should hire Door the Explorer to get back your boobs from Swiper because <laughs> he definitely stole them. <laughs> Here's a list of things that have more curves than Indiana's chest. Pre-Aristotle's concept of Earth. Flat Earth. <laughs> the Great Plains of North America. A dead patient's hospital pulse. Oh. IHOP's Butterless Junior Stack Pancakes. And every sheet of paper ever mm. produced. Seriously, like I said, we can play a pretty level game of chess on your chest. That's the reason she can never be a pirate, because there is no treasure on that chest. All right, guys. <laughs> Damn, thank this you so is much. where I wish I had that like air horn sound effect. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, Indiana is one of the closest people I've ever been to in my entire life. She knows the ins and outs of me, the darkness and the happiness, and I don't know where I would be without her besides a better place. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, the friendship that we all three have means the world to me. And I know when the world is a little overwhelming, I can just look to you, pop in a movie night, and kind of forget everything else. Oh. There's a thousand more things I could say, but honestly, you don't deserve it. <laughs> so I love you. I love you too. Happy birthday. Thank you. And thank you for letting us roast you a little bit. Oh, that was really funny. That was good. Cheers. <laughs>